Hi there everyone, this is Lilith and welcome to my YouTube channel for the Alter New July 2020 Stamp Die Stencil Ink Release Video Hop. If you hopped over from Raiko's video then you are right on track and you can start the hop over on the Alter New YouTube page. Now in today's video I'll be sharing this really colourful layout um, and I used the Courageous You stamp set, which is one of our new stamp sets in this release. I have also paired it with some other products from Alter New. So let's get started with the crafting. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp our beautiful flowers from the Courageous You stamp set. Now this stamp is really large, so I just used one of my die cutting plates and popped the stamp on there and then used some uh, obsidian black ink. I'll be using a couple of Alter New watercolor brush markers and I'm just going to add a bit of water to the uh, to the leaves here and then just add the color. So I'm doing a really quick watercoloring technique. I'm not going to overthink it too much. I want it to be really simple and just really colorful. Once I've finished the leaves I will start working on the blooms themselves. Now with the watercolor brush markers if you want to you can always try and work directly onto your stamped image but the colors are really pigmented and because I'm just using a couple of them I decided just to pop the colors onto a watercolor palette and then work with the colors from there adding more water and mixing different colors together. So for the centers of the flowers, I decided to use some metallic watercolors from Alter New just to add a bit of sparkle to the leaves and the flowers as well as the centers. And once the two blooms have dried, I'm going to cut out these two floral images and then I can use them on my layout. <music> So now that I have created my florals, I'm going to cut out a couple of labels. I created these labels with the all to new dot label stamp set and there are coordinating dies, but because these ones have straight edges and I really wanted to speed up the process, I just used my scissors. Uh, I'm going to be using a lovely gray background paper. This is from the Create collection, which is a collaboration between uh, all to new and Pink Fresh Studio. And I also had a couple of simple flowers laying around that from a previous project which I stamped onto some six by six striped pattern paper. I will leave all the links in uh, the description box. I'm also going to create a couple of labels using the terrific tags 
a die set from all to new as you can see here and I'm going to arrange them on the layout just creating lots of different layers with all these different elements. One of the tags I'm going to cut in half because I'm just going to pop it between that background paper and pop it underneath as well. I do like having repeating elements on my layout. Once that's done, I'm going to look through the stamp set and use a couple of those sentiments on my layout as well. my layout I wanted to use a couple of enamel dots but I didn't have the right color so I made my own little dots just using a confetti punch and punching out some of these lovely fuchsia pink confetti pieces. Now don't forget to leave a comment on this video because we will be picking lucky winners from all the comments on all the different videos participating in this hop. This is your last stop and if you did miss a couple of them just hop over to the all to new YouTube channel. I will leave all the links in the comment section below. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye!